I must, I must resist helicopters. Dear viewer, if you've been paying attention, you'll notice that I've been trying to set up traditional helicopters, uh, software in the loop uh, with RG Pilot, and I've failed. And the primary reason, well, I hope the primary reason I failed is I've not been able to map the buttons on this standard old computer joystick uh, to get it right. Part of the reason I'm falling down this helicopter uh, rabbit hole, and in fact, no, all of the reason, it's Louis's fault. There is a, uh, a series on setting up traditional helicopters uh, with something like this, with a Pixhawk, on um, the RG Pilot YouTube channel. And it, well, it's all very tempting. I've, I have I have wanted to go down this road, but I've been avoiding, avoiding, avoiding. So Louis said to me the other day, Louis joins us at 2100 GMT every Tuesday for our weekly hangout, which is generally nonsense. Bruce Simpson's often there, but it's fun. Anyway, Louis, um, Louis say no dramas. You've got a Tyrannus, haven't you? Just set your Tyrannus up uh, on, on your PC, USB at the back, and Robert will be your father's brother. I am blowed if I can get this to work. I cannot get this to work, and life is too short. But this DX7, Spectrum DX7, trainer port out the back, it does work. And so I have mapped the channels. Channel 8 is the particular one I've got to pay attention to. It's called Motor Interlock. I have no idea what that does. I know nothing about helicopters. A grown-up, no doubt, will be along shortly to do that. So that meant, because it mapped and worked well, then you, you've got to try and fly a helicopter, haven't you? So this is a 450 in a, a flight sim that I, I like, a model aircraft flight sim that I like very much. It's flying over the pits, so it went like that. And that's Aeroflight RC7. Now you can see that I'm not a helicopter driver. I've also noticed, just like aircraft, if you load... Uh, if you jump into a bigger one, and this, this applies to aircraft as well, if you jump into a bigger one, for some reason it gets easier. I have a feeling that reason is number A, you can see the thing better, and B, it's got a bit more mass and a little bit better behaved. It's not gonna, it's not gonna uh, jump around as much. But I'm not a helicopter driver. Um, I prefer, or a multi-rotor driver really, I don't like multi Well, I fly them, but I, they don't float my boat and I, I don't find them very exciting. Uh, these I might find exciting. Um, what was I gonna say? So I fly mainly aircraft. And when I have made a new aircraft for somebody, or for myself or somebody else, I always, always, always fly in the simulator first. And that gets my thumbs back into practice. Something that's very important, I think. And this helicopter interest, sudden helicopter interest of mine, had me looking around yesterday at prices. And I saw a system that looked quite tidy and it was 28,000 US dollars. And that then me think, oh, okay, all right, I'll do some job of work, that'll, that'll be all right. And the, but it got me thinking, oh my word, just imagine if I was a company big enough to run a fleet of pilots. If they, if they were driving that, I would want to see some mandatory sim time every month for them. I would want to see at least an hour, and I might even want to see some sort of some sort of curriculum that were or maneuvers that I hope that hope that they perform and that is something that's perhaps missing in our world airline pilots go into the sim fighter pilots go into the sim why don't drone pilots separate I know military ones do before some people say that there are military sims but there are not not very many sim programs for civilian drone drivers so David Walters, consorting, that's the sort of thing that could be in your um, flight management software. You know, not just logging their um, real flight hours, but also when they've done their sim time. I will leave it at that and muck about and hopefully in the next couple of days be able to get uh, software in the loop working uh, with traditional helicopters. I'm looking forward to it. I, this is all in the name of science and research. I am not having fun now, dear viewer. Do not, don't think that for a second. Cheers for now.